Hey folks, what's going on? Dylan here from Fabrication Guy, and today we're gonna to be talking about the different air filters that are available that you can put on your plasma cutter to provide your system with nice, clean, filtered air. The benefits of providing your plasma cutter with filtered air is that it's gonna make your consumables last a lot longer. And if you guys know, if you're running expensive consumables on say like a Hypertherm or Miller machine, those things are not cheap. So if we add a cheap, inexpensive air filter and just replace the cartridge in the air filter, it's gonna save us a lot of time and money on the torch side of things by allowing us to not have to replace those consumables so often. So adding a filter is not only about increasing cut quality and providing better cut quality for a longer period of time on the same set of consumables, but it's also about cost savings of keeping those consumables in that torch longer so you're not buying those expensive $100 consumable packs. Now there are a few different types of filters out there. I'm gonna reference some of these on Amazon. So I'll have links to them down in the video descriptions if you wanna reference these pages as well. But the general consensus is that these motor guard cartridge filters are one of the easiest ones to use and maintain. They just take a basic filter element like you see here. It almost looks like a roll of toilet paper. And I've actually heard people using a roll of toilet paper in there. I don't recommend that but it looks like a roll of toilet paper and they run about 20 bucks. You stick the filter in it and you're good to go. These little cartridge styles filters are easy to mount. Here's a picture here of a welding cart. And as you can see, this is the one with the quarter inch filter. It actually has the fittings on the bottom. And this guy has his air pressure regulator and the filter mounted right onto the cart. One of the benefits to that is that the only air you want running through this filter is the air going to your plasma cutter. If you're using other tools that don't require a lot of filtered air, it's best to run those on a separate system. So ideally you want to have this filter mounted right next to your plasma cutter with an air pressure regulator and send that to your machine. And then that way, anytime you plug into it, it's only doing the air that's going through the plasma cutter at that time. And then when you disconnect from it, that filter stays in good condition until you use it the next time. Now there is another style of filter, which is a two stage filter. This has a, like a particulate filter on one side with a drain that catches the oil. And on the other side, it has a canister that holds desiccant beads and they will absorb the moisture as the air goes through and then the beads will change color when they're ready to be changed. Now these do work well, but my biggest gripe with these is that the beads can sometimes spill when you're changing out the filter and it's just not as easy as the standard cartridge style filter that comes with the motor guard. And I think that's why a lot of people prefer these as it's just easier and it's cheaper and it's just an, a better experience overall. So guys, I think it's really worth it to add filtered air to your system. Like I said, if you have a welding cart or a plasma cutter cart that you can attach it to the cart, that is 100% your best option. It will really prolong the life of the filter and keep that cost savings high by only running the air through it that's going directly into your machine. I I think it's really worth it and if you're looking at expensive consumables this will save you a lot of money in the long run and just give you better results with your cuts for longer periods of time so if you guys have any questions about these filters feel free to leave them down in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them i hope this video was helpful and i'll have links to all the filters that i talked about in this video down in the video description i hope this was helpful and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching